All right, it's time. Time for me to start painting. Never really been a painter. As you can see, everything I've done, mostly pencil and paper, ink and paper, wood burning. That is one big painting I made right there a couple years ago, but hey man, it's time for growth. It's time for some change. We about to get busy with this acrylic right here. We doing this style. I don't even know what you call it exactly. I mean, it's abstract. But uh, yeah, we doing it like that, but on a way bigger canvas. So I got this custom apron right here, courtesy of the lovely lady in my life. Only put limits on your color palette. And this is the cleanest that this apron will ever be. All right, so one more again for materials. We keeping it simple. We got the paint right here, acrylic. We got the canvas right here, 24 by 30, Blake Studio. We got some paint brushes right here, and this is really an experiment because you see it says for latex or oil-based paint. This is neither. This is acrylic, so that actually might end up being terrible, but I guess we're going to find out, ain't we? And in the off chance that it is, I got this here. I mean, what I'm doing is really a big kind of pour anyway. Most of this will be without brushes. And then I got the ball, the chain string right here. I'm not even going to tell you how I'm going to use it. I'm going to just let y'all see. All right, backtrack for one second. Let me show you my dusty ass garage that I finally cleaned out for the first time since I started living here a year ago and haven't used it for nothing. And um, I mean, it ain't completely clean, but it's reasonable, you know? I just got a little set up right here. Hey man, you know, you gotta work with what you got, bro. Uh, again, like I said, I didn't, I, for the most part, I was never a painter. So everything I do, drawing, wood burning, you could do that sitting at a desk. Painting, it get messy. So uh, you need a space where you can do what you gotta do and you ain't gonna, Either you got the, you know, the tarp down and all the plastic so it don't get messy or you don't care about it getting messy. I do care about my inside of my crib getting messy out here in the garage. I don't care. Whatever. You can get paint all over the floor. Whatever. You know, it's cement. You can always paint over it. Do whatever you're going to do. So, yeah, you know, got the canvas there. Set of brushes. Um, I got this here, but you know what? I'm actually about to take the paint back inside for a second and kind of think about what color palette I want to use because I haven't even thought about that. So give it a little bit of thought. And then, um, yeah, you know, I'm going to be ready to get started. And what's this? You know, this was the board on the windows that they took off when I moved in. And a little table I had um, with some with some uh, a cloth over it. I just, you know, had it in my art room, set stuff on top of it. But... Hey, you know, nothing fancy, nothing special, but you work with what you got and the finished product, you'll never be able to tell. All right, y'all can see here with the string, real simple, right? Unravel it. Let it get to a certain length. Take these. Shit, well, I got this right, can you cut? Struggling. There we go. So y'all saw one, a 20, I'm using a 24 by 30 canvas, so I'm gonna do some longer ones, some short and long ones with this. Time. All right, so these are the colors that I settled on um, to start off different shades of green, blue, and yellow, which is basically grass, water, sky, sun. So, you know, effectively that's landscape, you know. So I'm starting this off with that intention of landscape view and colors, but you know, as I as I go throughout this and 
continue on. We'll see what I add to it. So, there you go.